I'm sort of wondering, is that a redback spider or something totally different? Whoa, crikey's just coming for me. I'll let that spider be. There's something far more interesting just on the road here. Look at that, you beauty. One of those lovely road reflectors. Yeah, curious, it looks like it might have been a red one that's been painted white, possibly. Yeah, I collect those. Warning. The warning on this video has been removed and this video is highly educational. And just back on that Spidey, it's actually quite an interesting one. I believe that's a red backer. It's one of the brown variants of the species. Very curious indeed. Just getting a nice close up there of that red stripe on the back. Very, very unusual. Quite a pretty one. I should try and tease her back to a nest. Come on, little girl. Oh, wow, she's a strange one. I tell her if she's okay or not. Look at this. she's. Normally they'll ball up if they feel threatened. Come on, little girl, back to your nest. Oh, she's playing games on me. Back you go. Bit of a walking wounded, but I tell you what, I reckon she'd have a go at you in an instant. Okay, she's back in the nest. She's happy. I'd hate to upset the balance of nature in the suburb. I'll tell you what, being that nice brown colour, she blends in nicely, doesn't she? And uh, she's actually gone behind the tile there. They say there's a billion others like her behind there. So just on from that lovely uh, brown fedback spider, this is the spider nests at the gym, the local gym in the suburb where I live. And this here is quite an established nest. Uh, we're sort of into summer now. I dare say if I play this enough, there'll be a red back pouncing out at me. And she won't want to be the third. She will be underneath this big mess here. Mm, don't want to upset. I can see other spiders actually running there. Juveniles, which isn't a good look. Mm, just want to try and, oh. Yeah, there's something at the back there. I can see all the things they've been eating. She might be in amongst all that there. Maybe it's best if I don't know. Maybe I'll just turn that over and uh, try and reset it as it was, like a good humanitarian like that. Beautiful. Of course, there are many steps here and there'll be many spiders. Here's another nest here. It's got a beautiful roof structure here. They're quite the builders, aren't they? It's been very windy. There's been a lot of fires about as well. There's a massive fire just to our northwest. And uh, there'll be a red back here. It's got all the perfect web structure of it. Of a nest that they build, it's, it's still, I call it, fairly early in the spider season. I'm not seeing anything run from this yet. Ooh, maybe it's recluse away somewhere. Ooh. Sometimes I get a little bit more scared when I don't see a spider. Because mm. sometimes what they do here is that they'll recluse up under here and it's nice and safe for them there. Yeah, there's plenty of hidey holes here. There's a piece here with a tile missing and a spider can easily get up underneath there. Uh, but I am seeing a few ants around and that might not be very good news for the spidey. There's a plubber in front of me. Peculiar birds. Somehow they don't get hit by cars. I've never worked out why, but if I look up in the sky, there's this really peculiar smoke screen coming from fires which are around Sydney stacks and stacks of fires really difficult to explain in a video and if I look over this way and I'll zoom in a bit that's a massive smoke tail from a fire that's been burning for weeks to the northwest of where I live just looking at the sky again looking all grubby and dirty that great big fire with the great big tail is burning over there, it has been burning for weeks, will probably burn out for the rest of summer. They can't seem to put it out. And as I spin around to the west where the sun sets, we get more dirty brown sky. Maybe I can call this video Brown Spider and Brown Sky and that won't upset YouTube. I'm going to squeeze another sunset shot in over the beautiful BP at Barara. I can put in as many sunsets as I like because it's my video my rules. At home these days I have decided that I will play with a redback spider in the backyard so I can see what they're up to and understand how they live but there'll be a time when they have to say goodbye and it will be on my terms.
This redback spider has been setting out its web underneath a large rectangular pot. It's very much a creature of habit, although it won't make its web every night, and that's something I don't understand. But what I am noticing is, apart from the web structure and the way it does its web, is there are other spiders around that the redback will ignore. Now, I believe there's some juvenile redbacks hanging about, but I also believe I've caught some video of what is the grey house spider or grey widow, cement spider as I call it, and it looks like that spider is totally ignored by the redback. Yes, it's hard to tell. The video isn't that clear. I've captured a lot of video of the spider doing its web work here, and what becomes more interesting in a way is not what the redback's doing, but what the other critters around the redback are doing in the redback zone. As it stands, this redback spider has not generated an egg sac. So for the time being, I'll let it play, but I'll decide when it leaves.